it's a big difference. I mean, you know, I've I've actually had both crowds for a, a long time. Like, and for the fir- for the first part of my career back when I was young, you know, I was I was so caught up on just Three Six Mafia and just Memphis music. I really didn't listen to too much other stuff. So I would go to these shows and I'd see these guys painted up in clown makeup, and I'm just like, who are these dudes, man? They're everywhere. And I, it got to the point where every show I would go to, I'd see at least one or two juggalos. And then um, about three years ago, uh, I got invited to do the Gathering of the Juggalos. Got some cave in Rock, Illinois. It's the annual uh, clusterfuck that they have every year that is beyond a concert. It is the craziest thing I've ever endured in my career. And uh, we really went not knowing what we were getting into. Just me and about four of my, my buddies went. And uh, we didn't know about the merch or nothing like that. So, like, uh, you know, we went and just went. Just us went up there. Uh, Jelly Roll was on the show. Jelly Roll's artist on white music, um, and we tore it apart. Like we, great show had like eight thousand people at our stage, and it was at like three, four in the morning. That's so good. it was like they stayed up and just everybody was lifted beyond the sky. Uh, there's no police allowed in this event either. So like it's chaos. It's I don't even know how much I can actually say about the gathering, but <laughs> it's. It's control, uncontrolled chaos, but somehow it's still controlled. Yeah. But it's, I mean, the, the, the gathering is like a lineup of these just major stars, old stars, new stars. And, uh, you know, I killed it the first year. And, like, literally, like, a week after the first year, they were like, yo, um, I even asked the crowd while I was on stage. I was like, yo, am I invited back next year? Y'all gonna let me come back? Seven, eight thousand people went nuts. So, like, you know, ICP's uh, tour guy called me, like, a week or two later, like, look, we want you, we practically want you on these for, for the rest of the time. Because the crowd loves you, and it's just like, ever since that first gathering, I started seeing a, <clears throat> a lot more juggalos coming out to all my shows, no matter what city I was in or whatever, you know. So, uh, whoop, whoop to the juggalos, man. They, uh, they are an army. Those guys are deep, and they show nothing but love, and... As wild and crazy as they get and might look, they're some of the most down to earth, respectful people, just fans that I've that I've encountered, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, this and pretty much after getting invited that next year, this past year, I just went and I just had hernia surgery, so I was up there literally like lower tabbed out in pain. And uh <clears throat> I actually did a better show this year than I did the last two years. And we came with a shit ton of merch and just kicked it the whole day, made some good money. And that's when Twisted was like, uh, yo, White, we want you on this tour. We're fixing to go on this, like, 30-city tour. And, I don't, you know, Aaron, no offense to anybody else, but you killed the stage. You know what I'm saying? You did a great show, and we want to we wanna add you to the show. And we think it would help, you know, grab some different markets, throwing your name on there, having our name. And, and it worked. We got, like, 23 cities left. We're here in Worcester now, Massachusetts. And I am hungover. And my partner, who's actually a promoter, has got a tattoo shop. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get a tattoo of the tour. I wish I had the, uh, the actual VIP pass, but it's still very tender. It's not a very polite place to get a tattoo. But I got the Abominations tour tattooed on me. And that don't show, like, just devotion and dedication. I don't t- <laughs> Then again, I got some crazy tattoos. But I don't know. It felt right at the time. Go to the gathering of the juggalos, man. That's one thing. I'm gonna tell you like this. I don't care if you don't even like music. I don't care if you're deaf and blind, and you somebody's like tapping this to you, like or something, and you're figuring it out that way. You gotta go. But you gotta go to the hash bash first. You gotta go to the hash bash first. Cause this how all this shit came about. Yeah. Cause then you go to the gathering of yeah. the juggalos. So the gathering of the leave. juggalos. Matter of fact, just once you're done watching this video, just Google, go to YouTube, mm-hmm. type in gathering of the juggalos, and watch the. 10 minute infomercial just do something with your life just it's it, it's I'm telling you it's it's if you like to party and don't mind sleeping in an RV or a tent call a white hit me up man I know where to go I'm talking about it's like a four day event strippers we it's, not strippers they walk around naked that's not a stripper that's um, a stripped this is just a naked goddess